fight could still be up for grabs. I, I would go with the winner of this round. Maurice? Oh, I'm not making any decisions right now. I think it's still <laughs> too far to tell. All right. Manu and two in the black trunks. The world champion, Manson Gibson in the bright red. Fifth and final round for the World Light Heavyweight Championship. And that hurt Manson Gibson's left leg. Gibson talking to him, Manu answering him. Manson with that lead right leg follows up with a good combination and Manu spins out of I tell you Manson has been talking since the moment he arrived in Victorville last night. I don't think he stopped talking in his sleep. That's his game. We need more more fighters that can add a little bit of sp sp uh, spirit to this game. You betcha. Well he's entertaining. He's controversial but he is not boring. Right leg, right leg by Manu. Wow, Manu caught him right between the legs. It almost and, uh, looked like it caught him. He must be wearing wow. a very good cuff. Hanson does not appear to be any worse for the wear. Final minute and a half of this fight. Has Manu and two done enough to take the world championship belt back to Atlanta? For about a minute 16 from finding out. He's been basically sticking to one technique at a time. I think he's got to do like he just tried to do there, a little more combinations and, and mix it up a little bit with him a little more instead of looking for one big shot. Absolutely. is back up, but he is wobbly with 40 seconds left in this fight. That is as hard as we have seen Gibson hit. That was on the money. No question, right as he was on, up against the ropes, bouncing off the ropes, that big right hand landed flush right on the shin. Double spinning back kick does not land, follows with a good left hand. Great recovery by Gibson. He wow. got up a little stunned there, but he looks seems like he recovered quickly. Final 10 seconds of this fight. Gibson trying to put an end to it. Manoa clinch right above us. That's it. This one's over. This one's over. The last round, I think, is the round that's going to make the difference. It was the, obviously a vicious right hand, the most telling blow of the entire fight. He, he, he stayed so calm the whole fight and, and waited and, and right at the, when he really needed it, he sat down on a beautiful right hand. And it looks like it might pay off for him. Here. A huge right hand in the final 40 seconds of this fight. There you see an attempted back kick by Gibson. Manu drives him to the ropes, and there's that right hand. Right as he bounced off the ropes, caught him flush on the chin. And I think that's where his corner really wanted him, to drive him against the ropes and muscle him and bully him. And there's the big right hand, just really flush on the chin of that man right there, Manson Gibson. But w what recovery, huh? Maurice, did you get any shots in on Manson like that? Uh, not that solid. I got more on Manu. Manson ran from me pretty much most of the fight. I'll tell you, Manu into what a likable young man, very polite, very gifted in his skills, uh, had nothing to say, uh, nothing uh, but nice things to say about his opponent last night, spoke to everybody who spoke to him last night at the weigh-in. Uh, I think uh, Manu into has made a lot of fans out here on the West Coast. Yeah, he's going to be around. He's had already a lot of experience, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing him fight some more. I'd like to see a little more combinations out of him, though. Uh, he's, he's really strong attack, but he needs to follow it up with some more left hooks and some, some and good combinations on the inside. And I think, Maurice, that's because he's always looking to load up. Yes. Everything's got bad intentions. Well, I think it paid off tonight. It, it's, we'll see. It's going to be close. That, that could be the tell and tell, that straight right. Now there is Manu N2. He is uh, anxiously awaiting the decision as he walks across the ring to shake hands with the world.
World Light Heavyweight Champion. Whoa, everybody is sitting and waiting. Anxious anticipation. Has the long reign of Manson Gibson come to an end, Blinky? Well, we're going to find out in just a few seconds, that's for sure. Well, if anybody needed a 10-8 round to win a fight, I believe, uh, from where I sit, roughly four feet from the bottom rope, that was a 10-8 round from Manu in two. Would you agree with that, yes, Maurice Travis? Yes, it was. It was a strong, strong right hand. Put him down. Should be a 10-8 on that. And, and possibly the fight. Well, the decision is in. Let's go to Chris Gregory. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a decision. Judge one scores the bout 48-46. Judge two sees it 49-45. And judge three has it 49-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Manu N2. Now they call that a unanimous, Maurice. We've seen it a lot closer. Yeah, I, th I think the knockdown just, just put the judges over the top. On no that question. Was, well, that was my feeling was that this, the winner of the last round was going to be the one that won the fight. And, and in fact, that's what happened here tonight. What a shocking conclusion here in Victorville, California. Wherever you are watching across the North American continent, you have seen kickboxing history tonight. Manu N2 has won a unanimous decision. His 48th title defense. The curtain comes down, at least for the time being. Manu N2 is the new IKKC World Light Heavyweight Champion. Well, our night got started with a great welterweight fight, Blinky. Yeah, Ben Dow and, and Serapai, and they really went at it. It was a great clash with Serapai coming out on top at the end. There you see a nice back leg takedown by Ben Dow. And then a nice front kick by Serapai that went on the attack. It was a give and take type of fight in that one tonight. Big right hand by Ben Dow. Wasn't called a knockdown. There it was at the end, Serapai. Pulls out a big win over an undefeated young man, Ben Dow. And in our second fight for the IKKC Intercontinental Middleweight Muay Thai Championship, Craig the Bullet Buchanan in the green from right here in Victorville against Malapet Sitpraprom. And I'll tell you, Sitpraprom gave Craig Buchanan everything he wanted and more. And that fight, Phil, was also a very close fight. There, the raised hands of the fighter that came all the way from Thailand that now lives in Reseda. California. And the one you just witnessed, Manu N2 from Atlanta, Georgia, against a legend of this sport, Manson Gibson, for the IKKC World Light Heavyweight Championship. And there was a big right hand that was the telling blow of this fight, and that's why his hand is being raised tonight. A unanimous decision for Manu N2. This crowd here at the San Bernardino County Fairgrounds on the high desert of Southern California, Blinky, they are in shock. And I have to tell you, I'm a little bit in shock myself. Well, I'll tell you, Phil, I mean, you never know what you're going to get in Manson Gibson. But once again, on the onset, we said this was a very great matchup. We knew that Manu came in with a great record, a lot of power. And, and so, you know, people that, 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 that don't know Manu are, sad, are really surprised. But those that do know Manu, they know that he was in this thing the whole time.